Uh, Shri, hi, Shashank from ESPN Cricket Info. Hi. Uh, you know, uh, can you just tell us about how this opportunity with uh, Bangladesh came about and what kind of got you excited to take on this uh, assignment? I mean, I had just left Aust Cricket Australia and I was basically doing commentary in the TNPL. And that's when I got this call from Khalid Mahmood. Uh, they had showed interest in me coming and joining them um, as a consult in a consultant capacity. But things have happened very quickly, and I'm here in front of you. Uh, so far, the roles that you've uh, played, uh, they are uh, specific roles. With Australia, it was a spin consultant uh, at RCB. You, you, you know, your assistant coach. What are the dynamics like, you know, when you take on uh, a role of a head coach in that at such a short notice? I mean, I think it's very simple. I'm very clear about my role here. Uh, my role is probably bring the resources together. We've got some very good skill coaches. So I trust what they are doing completely. So my job is to basically work with the captain, work with the team director and bring the skill coaches, bring all the three components together and uh, you know use my t20 experience with australia and the ipl to bring together a strategy where we can use our resources properly so i'm very clear of my role it's i'm not saying i'm leading the side or i'm just trying to collaborate yeah. Sri Ram, I think the from uh, how does it like how is it like to have shaki back in the role of captain of this he's been a great leader of Bangladesh over the years and now he has been reinstated as a captain. So how do you see his role going forward in the lead-up to the T20 World Cup? But I think it's a fantastic move to get uh, Shakib as captain. I, I interacted with him for, a, for the first time. I have respected him as an opponent, but this is the first time I've really interacted with him. And it was so heartening to see his views on the T20 game. It was so modern. It was so refreshing. We were on the same page. And the the dynamic he has with the younger group is so amazing. The youngsters look up to him, they respect him, but he's also very approachable, which is a very sort of unique combination where there is respect as well as being approachable. So I think that's a very good dynamic to have between the captain and, and the team. And so I think it will be a very positive and refreshing uh, move for Bangladesh. This is Onik from BD News. Bangladesh has been struggling in this uh, format for a long time now. What difference can you make this short time? See, I'm coming in with a really fresh set of eyes. So I'm, I'm carrying no baggage. What you're saying is news to me. So I'm not looking at it that way. I'm just looking at it with a fresh set of eyes and I'm bringing in my ideas. I'm bringing in fresh energy. And I'm just uh, wanting to get the team together and s start afresh. What is more important for Bangladesh? Reduce dot ball or increase boundaries? Because they didn't do it at uh, the same time, never again. Good so question. We'll answer that when we play the game. Yeah. So, you have obviously, you have been associated with. Uh, Obviously, all the teams have been commenting on the heat. Uh, for those of us who live here, it's not as hot as it was last week. And we feel that for this time of year, there's actually less humidity in the evenings. So tell us a bit about your climatization, uh, you know, how challenging it's been for you. This is our first outdoor session. So we are, we are literally stepping out. We've been out and about in the city, but this is our first real training session. So I think it's an odd time of the day that you're training. We don't train between 9 and 11 very often so i think we will um, sort of get into start with our paces and get into the guess get the intensity up slowly i think we've got three more sessions and i think uh, two sessions we are between four and six so it's a good mix and match to acclimatize to the heat uh, uh, Shri, um, you know if you one look at your first class record and the first thing that strikes out immediately is you nearly have 10,000 first class runs at a personal level can you just take us through your own coaching journey and uh, you know how it has evolved and what what is the kind of work that you've done to keep up pace with the evolving nature of the game? But I think I've just forgotten the fact that I was a player. I mean, it doesn't matter how many runs I've scored. At the end of the day, I'm here to help other people. And that's probably my biggest strength. I don't carry 
baggage of my player or my frustrations or my past into coaching coaching is a completely you see the others were completely different set of eyes and my experience dealing with different cultures I mean worked with the IPL worked with the Indian boys worked with the Aussie setup so I mean there is a good mixture of the east and the west so I think coming into a culture like Bangladesh I understand their upbringing I understand the way they approach the game but at the same time I can bring in that sort of professionalism the expectations I can really set clear expectations as to what is required at this level from a professional standpoint so I think it's a good uh, sort of culmination and I'm really looking forward to it. Sriram obviously the fact that Bangladesh haven't done uh, taking, taking a cue from his question not done well in this format so how do you see your role and from the outside what do you think that the Bangladesh team is lacking when it comes to bigger tournaments why did why they have not done well? I mean I as I said, I've come in with a really fresh set of eyes, you know, and I was looking at this stat. Uh, but when looking at taking wickets, the, we average one of the best in the world to take the first three wickets. And when it comes to the first five wickets, we are probably one of the best in the world. So Bangladesh have done a lot of things right. It's not about what they've done, not done well. I think it's about reiterating what they're doing well and getting the best out of them. I think I'm, my focus is definitely in a short space of time going to be on their strengths what they do really well and then building on those strengths i think what we have not done well or that's that will take care of itself as long as we keep doing what we do really well even better last question hi this is elvis from jehi tv channel indian tv channel how do you evaluate uh, indian team's presence and performance this year sorry sorry how do you evaluate yeah. india team's presence and performance this year we had to play the Asia yeah, Cup, right? And how you evaluate the perform training, performance, everything about India? I mean, India definitely start favourites, don't they? Yeah, I think India starts favourites because of the depth that they have in the squad. I said to Star Sports yesterday, good luck in selecting the 11 because they've got so much quality in that team. So, I think uh, India is definitely a huge challenge for whoever plays against them. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.